Who are you and what do you do? My name is Zach Owens and I'm a technical evangelist for Microsoft focused on PHP on Windows and SQL Server. Okay, so you're at a MySQL conference. Yep. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the whole PHP on Windows and why you'd run PHP on Windows, for example, using SQL Server? Sure. So PHP on Windows has actually had some pretty major breakthroughs in the last couple of years, and the main one being our support for fast CGI. So before, you didn't have really great options for running PHP on Windows, whereas now with fast CGI, you can run a non-thread safe version of PHP within fast CGI and IIS, mm -hmm. which does all the process isolation and thread safety and you get a lot higher performance. So PHP on Windows is now sort of a first class citizen and something we're um, actively working with the PHP community to enhance. Okay, so you are actually working with the community and giving back to the PHP community as well? We are. So with um, PHP 5.3 is where the major um, innovations for PHP on Windows are happening. PHP 5.2 runs well, but with PHP 5.3 we've done things like fixed a lot of bugs, brought all the libraries up to their current versions, it can now compile with Visual Studio 2008, um, so we've put a lot of work um, into that and worked closely with the community to make those changes. Okay, so you've you you know you've heard of the LAMP stack and the AMP stack, which is the Apache, MySQL, PHP, on anything. So even on Windows, you have things like XAMPP, XAMP, sure. and stuff like that. So why would someone today go out there and go for PHP with um, IIS or, and um, even um, SQL Server? Sure. So I think largely one of the reasons people are looking to do PHP on Windows are shops where there are already Windows shops. So if they already have a Windows infrastructure and they want to run PHP applications, and largely it's pulled in through um, some of the popular open source applications like Drupal, for example. So if an organization is a, PH or a Windows shop and wants to run an intranet that's powered by something like Drupal, they may opt to just run that on Windows instead of firing up a whole new Linux environment. So um, in that case, there's a, one of the Another sort of major innovations is the Microsoft Web Platform Installer, mm -hmm. which essentially pieces together all the different pieces of the puzzle. So when you run the Web Platform Installer, it will install PHP for you, it will install um, ASP.NET, it will um, prompt you to download MySQL if that's what you need. So within the Web Platform Installer, it, it also has the uh, ability for web applications to plug into there. So. Um, for example, there's a version of Drupal now that is part of the web platform installer. So it actually goes through and checks your dependencies and makes sure that you have MySQL installed and that you have PHP installed with the right versions and patches. And so it's good for a whole running. stack sort of solution then. So it's making it easier for the developer, end user, deployer, and so forth. Exactly. Fair enough. And um, it, it will pull in MySQL, but in which instance will it maybe want to pull in uh, as a SQL Server, for example? So SQL Server um, is part of the web platform installer as well. And then there's there's also, in within the web platform installer, there are .NET applications okay. that connect to SQL Server. So if you try and install one of those applications and it has a dependency there, it will prompt you to install SQL Server. And I believe by default, it gets SQL Server installed, SQL Express. Okay. Um, when you install the web platform installer just from the beginning. So um, developers, so another innovation is uh, we now support a PHP driver for SQL Server. So that's Microsoft developed, delivered, it's open source. We publish it on a CodePlex, so. And how do you guys actually work with other open source projects? I know you just mentioned Drupal can come in. What, are, what about the other open source projects? Like WordPress is pretty tied to MySQL. Right. And But it probably can run on a Windows installation. What about other projects out there? Yep, so WordPress definitely runs on Windows with MySQL. Yep. Um, we do our best to work with um, developers in the community to support SQL Server. So what um, currently runs on Windows and SQL Server well? Some of the ones that are in production um, are things like uh, PHP BB, Gallery supports SQL Server. Um, those are a couple off the top of my head. Um, there's some others in the works that we're working with, but um, really PHP on Windows connected to MySQL is really where the applications are at this point. So it's a matter of uh, just working with the community to get So you're working with the community to supported. get the migrations going and the, getting the schemas migrated, the, the code migrated. Right. So you guys actually helping 
We are, and it's it's a lot, as you know, changing the data model for an application and the back end is a lot bigger change than running PHP on Windows, so um, those things are a lot stickier. So things like PDO support, we're um, working with the community to figure out what to do with PDO, and I think that may be one of our um, the keys moving forward, talking to some of the folks in the applications that support, like the Drupal folks. and So the Drupal the folks are, are making it. Apps. Anything else that you could mention or? Um, I mean, we're, we're working with all of, you know, the majority of the top open source applications out there. So um, one way or another, we're trying to get them to run, to, to be compatible with the web platform installer, which is one of the key pieces. So it's a okay. set of XML files and configuration things that um, a project can do. And then they submit their project um, through the uh, web application gallery, and then they, they get into the web platform installer. So, Are you seeing any big sites using this whole uh, stack, so, so to speak? Um, no big names that I can uh, name at this point that are using particularly an open source app connected to uh, SQL Server on PHP on Windows, but um, we'd hope to see that change soon. What about a non-open source app? Are there any sites out there that use PHP, Windows, and um, SQL Server? Hmm. Any reference sites you guys have? Big names. I or small don't names. have any uh, big names. I mean, I actually, in my background is actually doing PHP development since okay. like 2000. And funny enough, like back in 2000, I was working with a government organization in Michigan, and we did PHP on Windows connected to SQL Server back in the day. So okay. it's been out there, but um, we're working hard to, to get some bigger names. Okay, um, where can people get uh, all this stuff? So the main place to go currently for information of PHP on Windows would be iis.net slash php. All right, okay, thank you very much. All right, appreciate it, thanks.